Nothing wrong with tight lines. I mean, I'll take that. Better than a skunking. All right, guys, switched off the top water. Nothing going there. Now I'm switching to the three inch Z-Man sexy mullet. I've got a loop knot tied to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, about three feet of that with the Alberto knot to my braid. Here we go. Definitely a lot of fish out there. I'm getting whacked like crazy right now. It's a small class of trout. So hopefully there's a couple bigger ones around. We'll know shortly. That feels like a better trout right there. Predicting 18 inches. Sexy mullet. So sexy. 16. All right, so I'm not in a huge class of trout, but um, it's a beautiful morning and they're biting like crazy. Can't beat that, right? Not a bad trout. Not a bad trout. There he is. Feels okay. Feels like a pretty good one. He backed out of my hand. Nice move. That's a baby. These trout are in such a tight zone. I don't often find trout this tight, but they are literally, there's a 10 foot window over there. And if you throw to the right or the left of it, you're not gonna get a hit. See, that's not getting me excited right now. That was fun an hour ago. But what I'm thinking about right now are slot redfish. Found my redfish, boys. Found my redfish. This might be a striper. This is a heavy. Whatever it is, it's a heavy. Oh, that's that's a good fish. That is a good fish. That might be a striper. This ain't no joke right here, boys. Whew. All right. What the heck? This feels heavy like a stingray or something. It is a stingray. Shoot. Man, that's an aggressive stingray to catch him on a soft plastic. Man, I thought I had a big striper or a redfish. That's not even a stingray, that's a stingray. All right, y'all, redfish are not cooperating this morning. So I got another trout hole I wanna go try. Could be good. 
they were pretty hot back at the last spot so uh this other trout hole i got usually holds some bigger fish so let's go see what we can find out Man, I should have started here. Ooh, hook fell right out. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to switch off that sexy penny to this hot snake. It's not much different, but it's a little bit different. And just to keep the bite interesting, keep the trout excited. It's also a four inch, which I didn't even, I forgot I had them back there, but uh, this is a bigger class of trout. So this all do a little better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a big one. That was a big one. Another good one, y'all. Not too bad. These are all keepers. Good class of fish. Man, they're hitting hard. As the day gets later, they just hit harder and harder. It gets warmer there, just hit harder and harder. Man, I'm in a good class of fish right now. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw that thing come out of the water, but he's got a big head. He's got a big old head on him. Come here, buddy. Oh, yes. yes, 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 yes. Good fish there, man. Oof, man, that thing was barely hooked. All right, y'all, as hard as I may try to keep the presentation of these videos flawless and neat, I'm also committed to passing along knowledge. This fish is wounded. I knew it then and I know it now. What I didn't know then was how did it happen? The fish was barely hooked and I always try to handle fish gently, especially ones I don't plan on keeping. After analyzing the footage, it became crystal clear who the culprit was, my net. This old net is the stringy, larger mesh variety. Fish sometimes get tangled in it, and I've known for years there are better nets on the market that protect the fish from snagging and tangling, as well as limit body slime loss. If you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you know I've landed a lot of nice fish in this old net, but I can say without hesitation, she's officially retired. I know many of you have already made the change to these newer small mesh rubber landing nets, if you haven't yet, you might consider doing so. All right, guys. Good trip today. No drum, but a lot of nice trout. And uh, I think I'll close it right there. See you next time.